everybody, welcome back to another episode of Movie Social. Uh, Co-host Stefan Rick here. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the animated series Japan Sinks um, 2020 that can be found on Netflix. Um, if I'm mistaken, it dropped this weekend, right? Or yep. Thursday? It, it dropped uh, thir this past Thursday. Thursday. Netflix original. Yep, and um, before we get into the review, um, again, this will be a spoiler version. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, turn on post notifications on. All right, so Japan Sinks 2020. Um, it was a very good, it was very well written. It was dark. Do not watch this in front of kids, around kids, near kids, whatever, because it's, 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 it's rated mature for mature audiences only. Um, and it's one of those quick paced animes. I mean, it's only 10 episodes, so it's very quick pace it gets into um the nitty-gritty very very quickly which is yes, great does. and I, I thoroughly enjoyed it the artwork was beautiful it was very 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 beautiful drawn very very beautiful written uh the characters you can get behind the characters sometimes you had your moments where your characters was getting nervous because again that's just character development mm -hmm. it was very very thorough um and I thoroughly enjoyed it, and you can tell it's not going to be a season two. This was like a one-shot thing, um, but you never know. It could be a season two, depending on how they spin it, take it to another country. They whatever. could, or they could talk but, about the um, before we get into. I just want to know before we get into this, I just want to know how you felt about it. But they, 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 there, there could be some spin-offs about it. Um, yeah, there's a few ways. So, but this also one. Man, one of my best animes so far. I mean, that's not saying a lot since I have not seen so many animes, but I really enjoyed this one. Hell, I watched it in one sitting. It was basically glued to the screen the whole time. I mean, it's short. It's about 25 minutes each episode. Mm -hmm. Since there's no commercials, which I thoroughly enjoy. I hate commercials. <laughs> I hate commercials, too. But, yes, it's very dark and very gruesome at moments. Very real, uh, re very real um, situations. Yeah, it's very entertaining. It was very interesting, especially with the uh, storyline and the uh, plot of the whole thing. I mean, it's in the title. But it was really entertaining to watch. Woo, some of the characters on there, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so yeah, let's jump into it. Um, we're going to do like a quick synopsis of episode by episode. So episode one, go ahead, take it away. Do we really gotta do a quick synopsis? No, like, like a I quick spoiler. Right, y'all watch, watch it. I mean, I'd rather just highlight most of it. Alright, so yeah, just highlight, that's what I'm saying, highlight each that's part true. of like each episode. There know. will be blood. Y'all thought the red wedding was something? Jesus. There's a lot this of death. Crazy. To the main characters. Like the main four characters. Okay, the first earthquake. You see half the, the one of the lead characters, uh, her track team, mind you, they're only in middle school. I thought they were in high school, honestly. Yeah, they're in middle school. They're only in middle school. Half of the track team is buried under equipment, limbs cut off, trapped under stuff, blood yeah. everywhere. He it's, gets smashed by the entire locker, like the yeah. entire section of it was locker. Crazy. Smash. She's just looking like, oh my gosh, <laughs> and takes off running. Cuts her leg, because that's a very important thing. Yeah. She cuts her leg. Which was some ball. But, yeah, it, it was wild from that, that point on. Yeah, and it's, so it's, it's basically... Father, mother. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, as you were about to say, allude to, it's, um, it follows a family of four. Mm -hmm. A father, a son, mother, and daughter, um, and it follows them. And every at the moment, each person was at doing their own thing. So the father mm -hmm. was at work. I think he was, like, a construction worker for yeah. a stadium. The mother, mother was returning from America, maybe, or somewhere. She was returning yeah, from, from somewhere surgery. from surgery, from Which important surgery. We didn't learn about what she was coming back from until later on in the season. Correct. The daughter was at her track um, practice. practice. For some big competition or whatever. For the, yeah, so, so they can like try to qualify for the Olympics. Yeah. And then the fa uh, the son was just at home on video games. playing video games. You know, he, he's into the esports type of stuff. Yeah, so. he's definitely more Americanized than yeah. anything. But right. see, the mother was from the Philippines. The father is Japan Japanese from Japan. Yeah, and so the kids are biracial, mm -hmm. which plays a factor into the show later yes, on. Yes, yes, yes. It very does. Um, but, then you have like so when everything when when the shit hits the fan, the uh, day one, honestly. 
like I said, the locker room scene happens. Little boy, he's hiding underneath the table, but it gets so bad he starts to run. And he like gets furniture hits him while he's running. His face gets smashed into the edge of the counter. You think he's dead. Like I thought he was dead. I'm like, oh crap. They killed a kid in like 30 seconds of the episode. Crap, this is gonna be crazy. And then come to find out that he's not dead. It was just like a really bad you know, I thought he was going to be blind yeah, after it, the moment. It was they just had a, his eyes covered. Yeah, it was blood. just a bad uh Scrape, we're not a scratch over his yeah, eye. He had the uh, staples. Yeah, yo, he took that like Gigo. Uh, so the dad staples. Like, hey, and the dad is the only one person to survive because he had on like the um, like the harness. He, yeah, and he was dangling. He lucky, uh, whatever. He was harnessed too, didn't uh, break off. Yeah, or fall, or yeah. Shit, probably died too. And then basically that whole first episode is basically the family looking to come together. The way they come together is because their father does some. Um, Goofy stuff by lighting the trees, yeah, and everybody, a elevation area. yeah, and everybody noticed. Well, not everybody, but the people in the family and, noticed that. Yeah, and then it, it became a beacon because most people started gathering there yep. to try and find loved ones until they uh, got ready to leave. But it was crazy. I'm still trying to figure out how the hell did the plane crash that the mom was on. Like, that oh. was like bothering me because like stuff like that. Okay, if Japan is sinking, but you're in a plane. How is the plane crashing like that? I, I, I would, mean, I understand if like you lose, lost guidance systems or whatever because of every satellites and everything went out, but you still got visuals to see. Maybe the I gravitational know, pull I mean, became that heavy. Affected, it, but I'm like to the point where it went down. Luckily, it landed in water, but yeah. it became an issue too because then you got tsunamis that started forming. Yeah. 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 People was rushing to get off the, the mm -hmm. get, get on the lifeboats and stuff like that. It really showed their true colors. Very, like, very much so. As you progress, they start running. They start meeting other people that they form a group to basically try to survive. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you got they some, split into two groups initially. One 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 group went east and one went west. west. And it it got it gets dark. You got people trying to rape people. Split. Yeah. You got people. It, it, it's not faint hearted because yeah. you get a lot of stuff going on. In this. Dad, listen, the first three episodes of Dad dies. Like that. Exploding. He was trying to, they, they found the safe haven for a little while so they could try to eat. And they found some, uh, it was a yam, Japanese yams. Yeah. Uh, yam farm. And Mind you, it says, do not dig yeah. for those yams. And then he did it anyway. And I was and trying to figure out why was he digging so deep? Like, once I got a certain point of the guys, I know he wanted to go and get it with the pull it with the root up that take it cut it get it eat. but yeah he he blew up and like literally that was like within three episodes but the sad part of it was the daughter had just seen the sign that said it was bombs there and was about to run and tell them and then it just happened yeah. Yeah. crazy like i said you got some gruesome stuff hey listen there's some hint on here so listen you don't see anything I mean, you you see something. You see you something. You see know what's going, what's going on. on. But it was crazy as a show, as a whole. I mean, it's your anime, your typical anime. Where it has. I don't think it's no, no, no. Well, not your typical anime exactly in the sense of anime. the storyline, but of what you expect in a lot of animes. You see the sexual. Uh, you don't see nature. sexual. In Shonen, you don't see anything sexual. Right, it's well, definitely. Most, it, this most is animes, definitely no. You this do is see something. No, one thousand. So in most animes, you'll see what's called fan service. Like they'll show a girl with oversized boobs or something. That's like what that. I'm saying. That's like, fan service. No, no, no. This, you, yeah. this was implied. This was definitely two people having sex one scene, on screen. But only one scene. But you didn't. They didn't reveal anything other than that. That's, other than that. That's about it. Yeah, but other than that, and noise. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, still don't watch it around children. But of course not. I mean, most animes I wouldn't watch around kids anyway. Really? Most, yeah. So a lot of them have a lot of stuff in it. When you really get into it. I was watching anime since I was younger. I mean, back in the day, we didn't have these animes being this wild. As I'm well, like I said, this this right here is mature, is mature artists only. Most animes are like PG-13 or something like that. But, not to get sidetracked. It, it was great. It gets crazier as they progress because every episode somebody's dying off as a main character, basically. And then you're getting another character in its place for the most part. Yeah. And then they're dying off. Yeah. 
They come in each time. They're trying to find a way to survive to get off of the island of Japan because they find out it's sinking. Like all of Japan is about to be underwater mm -hmm. because of the earthquakes and the plates and everything and some more science stuff. Which, honestly, to me, it felt so realistic because you're going to eventually see a lot of these places going underwater because of climate change and everything else as the world progresses. Another thing that I can honestly say about this anime, and you probably really know about it, it is 1,000% written in 2020. The reason why I say oh, yeah. it's written in 2020, you have, as you stated, eSports. You have modern medicine. You have, um, at the end, when she had to get her leg amputated, she had the, um, yeah, the prosthetic uh, performance yeah. leg. They talk about fake news. Mm -hmm. So, like, this... Just because it was like, oh, right, it was actually written in 2020. No, like, okay, they could have, like, did a time. Like, they could have went yeah. back in time, like, 1990s. No, this was written in 2020 for the, basically the storyline of the characters' work. included words. the planes, like, well, not the planes, but the uh, hot air balloons that Google and Facebook were trying to do for internet use. Yeah, he was talking about uh, Google VR and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So this... I mean, they had VR in there. Yeah, this probably, was man. modern. Yeah. This is a modern-day anime. Like, they, everything technology-wise, uh, political-wise, all that was uh, for 2020, which is what makes me believe why they did not believe the man who was predicting the earthquakes in the first place. Mm -hmm. If they believed in him... A lot of people would have lived. Would have lived, agreed. But it even touched bases on Japanese racial issues, how... For their own, for their own. Yeah, I know. Where yes. uh, they were trying to get on... One of this, these life rafts or whatever you want to call it, yeah, tugboat like bar, yeah. and they were saying, "No, you got to be a Jap Japan only." Yeah, one hundred percent pure blood Japanese. Mm -hmm. We're not taking no half breeds. We're not taking people from other races, other places, none of that. And it kind of bit them in the ass because in the end, that whole not even in the end. exploded. <laughs> not even in the end. I'm ten minutes later. In the end, for them, that yeah. was their end. Yeah, well, that's true. I mean, and it caused a lot of problems too because it. Destroyed the other boats in the area because of that from scrap metal. Killed a lot of other people. But god damn, the birds, man. The way they was killing, eating the dead, it was ridiculous. The birds are ridiculous. Because, what, alluding to what he said, after they do that, they, they get one to the, this guy says, get on my boat. And he's helping them out. Something happens to where they're trying to escape. Oh, yeah, the, the, the thing blew up. Yeah. And the scrap metal basically flew projectile into their boat and started sinking and making their boat sink. You know, I think the ship would have sucked because of the uh, from the explosion from the water, the waves were really choppy, so that boat would have capsized. Right? Yeah, something could have happened. But so then they, the guy says women and children first. And the guy, one of the guy get this on a boat get greedy has a gun, shoots the guy. He doesn't and he falls into the raft of the children and then they basically drift. Well no, they didn't that what that's not what cost them to fall. The wave came and started and knocked over the boat partially. Oh yeah. And it, everybody just was off the boat at that point. But then he he ends up dying from the gunshot wound though. No, cause he was hurt. No, he wasn't no gunshot though. He didn't get hit by the gun. The guy so, shot the gun and it hit the boat. So answer this question then: Why well, did he die? Shit up. He died from a uh, internal. I believe it was cancer because he smoked mm -hmm. as well. Well, he died. Because he was coughing up blood. He died, bro. Yeah. And he died leaning outside the, the raft. And then the seagulls was just getting at him. They were and then when she woke up, she seen it. She was trying to push him off before she could. Yo, the <laughs> shark, shark came out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting that. Yo. Came this close to uh, destroying the life raft, too, at that point. Bruh. That was, it was insane. But them kids were some survivors, though. They, they, they smart. were smart. Doing the fishing, using a uh, bird to uh, cut the fish and everything. Yeah. I mean, it's a great anime, though. You guys got to watch it. Check it out a lot. Let us know what you thought about it. If you enjoyed it, if you didn't, tell us why. And, of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until, Until next time. time.